How do you think we'll prove the reality of Planck sphere quantization of quantum foam? Uh, so Planck distance Q. Uh, the distance being yeah. the oscillation of the vacuum structure based on the Planck unit being the minimum size of the oscillation of the vacuum uh, that can occur. And that oscillation is one Planck length? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and so a half of that Planck length mm -hmm. So, uh, would be the waveform that defines the radius of a sphere right. okay. that makes up that energy uh, dynamic. Because it was clear to me that, you know, we tend to think of a field as some two-dimensional plane that's doing one of these, right. Right. but there is no such thing in the universe as a two-dimensional plane. And so it occurred to me that it had to be uh, more complex than just a linear, you know, waveform right. on, on an oscilloscope, you know. Right. Uh, and so what would the universe do? Well, when you look at stars, at black holes, at, you know, cells and so on, you would imagine, and from my equations of the proton, you would imagine that you would have um, specific uh, spherical geometry, mm -hmm. at least. Um, and, you know, eventually the platonic solid could be extrapolated from it, but that's another story. Yes. And so uh, I took the half wavelength of the Planck and um, made it a spherical unit. Mm -hmm. And then from there, calculated how many Planck's there is mm -hmm. inside a volume of a proton. Mm -hmm. And that's what eventually led me directly to this new gravitational solution, quantum gravitational solution. Right. Right. Uh, and the correct mass and radius of the proton, the strong force and everything yes. else. Yeah. So that Planck spherical unit is an oscillator. Mm -hmm. It's an oscillation that is... Is, that's an electromagnetic oscillation, is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a dynamic of the structure of space-time itself mm -hmm. at the quantum levels. That is, space-time is fluctuating right. with all this electromagnetic energy yeah. at the quantum level because when you calculate the energy of an oscillator such as the atom, mm -hmm. you, ha you can't find the no, I mean, you have to go all the way to the Planck distance before you have a lower limit for the different frequency of oscillations. Mm -hmm. I see. So the um, Planck limit is the vacuum itself or space-time itself oscillating violently with a lot of energy. Yeah.